Good morning. I am gonna try vlogging again today. I am at a, yet again another um, Goodwill outlet location. So this one I actually haven't been to in almost two years, which is crazy to me. Um, I think it took me about 40 minutes to get here, but I'm actually meeting Carrie, my PFF, um, on Monroe Street. So she that's her handle on both Instagram and Poshmark. But we're meeting, we're gonna go to this different outlet. We haven't been here. Um, quite a while and then we're gonna go to this like fashion trade show it's like a wholesale like shopping um I don't remember the name of it I'll tell you when we get there later but um she is actually taking me as like her guest I'm not really interested in boutique or wholesale but I also know that I can be kind of narrow-minded at times so I'm trying to keep an open mind and go with her and just see what I learn um yeah, so that should be fun this afternoon. Of course, we'll grab lunch and stuff. And so just taking you along for the day. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so Carrie and I are done with the bins, we're done with lunch, and the fashion trade show, and I'm sorry that I didn't come on and chit-chat with you before we did those things, but we're just kind of moving and grooving. So I did spend about $50 at the bins. Um, I've got quite a bit of stuff you can kind of see behind me. Um, I feel good about what I found. I really let, enjoyed this location. It was really chill this morning. People were great and friendly. And I definitely think I'll be coming back to this location again. Um, as far as the trade show, um, I don't want to speak too much for Carrie, but I think uh, she's definitely um, happy that she went and had a great experience like looking at stuff. But as far as like prices and price points and then, you know, your um, return on those items maybe is not what she's maybe looking for at the moment. But it was, of course, just good to see and keep an open mind. Um, and thinking ahead in our businesses. So yeah, that was fun. I'm actually going to head to the post office now. My trunk is full of shipping because of the holiday weekend. I have Saturday, Sunday, and Monday sales to ship today. I'm back in from the post office. Um, I'm exhausted. So I've been up since a little after 4.30 a.m. this morning. I just couldn't sleep. So I did like my shipping, yesterday's shipping this morning before I left to go to the bins. I left a little after 7 a.m. and it's like 3.30 right now. And I still have so much to do tonight as far as like, I have a lot of listing I have to do. Um, and of course, like sharing and just trying to make some sales today has been slow. Um, I picked up a couple things though from the post office. So one thing was for me and one thing was a return. So I had a return on a pair of shoes that I mislabeled as a size six, but they were actually an eight. So that was my bad. Returns happened. But I did purchase something for myself. So I had really wanted um, this tote bag that I saw at a boutique 
um, like craft fair when I was in Fargo, North Dakota. And someone had purchased like the last one and I got the backpack style. Anyways, I really wanted the tote bag style, so I found it on Poshmark and ordered one very similar, same brand. But it's this tote bag and it is the brand. I think it's like Myra. I love that it zips. It's a really great tote bag. I can easily take it um, to coffee shops and stuff with my laptop. I love it. So it's beautiful. Anyway, I really, really need to get home um, and do more work. So I'll probably film the rest of this haul another day. I just won't have time tonight, especially as it's getting darker and stuff. So I'll film the rest of the haul. Um, tomorrow and probably have the video up in the next couple days. So thanks so much for following along and I look forward to sharing what I actually found in a little bit. Welcome back to the second part of this video. Uh, I'm now going to show you what I found at the bins. It's been a couple days. I've had some time to start processing these items and um, most of them are already photographed. Some of them are already listed. So as always, if you're interested in something, you can leave me kind of the description of the item and your Poshmark username so I can tag you in the item. If it's not already listed, I can make sure to get it listed and tag you as well. Um, but anyway, this location, I was so excited. You know, of course, there's luck that goes into thrifting or sourcing at any point in time. You know, some I definitely found some new brands found some vintage, which I always love picking up. So let me go ahead and get into it. Um, so I'm going to start with this pair of like trouser pants. They're corduroy. They're probably really hard to see the color, but they're like a navy blue, um, a high rise. I really like these. I'm still dying to try to find a pair that will fit me. The inseam on these is going to be way too long, but they are, um, an older style Eddie Bauer size eight. So I'm excited about those. Um, I picked up this jacket. Now there is a belt. I did find the belt that goes with it. It's just to buy H&M, but it's like the size eight. It's an anorak style jacket, which I just think they're such a classic staple piece to have in a have in your closet. Um, so like I said, it does have the belt. I just had taken it off so I can clean this. Um, so I'll get around to that. I found another one of those robes. So I, I think couple videos back I had shown um, a robe in this kind of Asian peacock floral design. Um, in that video I wasn't sure that it was vintage but I have now been able to determine with some of your help as well that it's not. Um, so in this one actually I was able to find the tag right away and it's not vintage but it's definitely got kind of a kimono style look. I don't expect a lot for it but it was lightweight and a fun style. Of course, I know you're dying to see the Patagonia, right? So I rarely ever find Patagonia. Um, and I definitely wasn't expecting to find it at the bins. Now, this, of course, is flawed. Um, if you saw earlier, there are definitely a lot of spots like this around the sleeves. And it's just got some fading. You know, it's, it's not brand new by any means. It's a size medium. So what I'm hoping to do is kind of use a thread that's the same color and kind of stitch those up. So that at least the batting doesn't come out. I mean, it's not going to be perfect by any means, but at least, you know, I don't want the batting to, um, or the holes to get larger or anything like that. And I'm not sure, I don't, I haven't done my research yet on this. I'm, I'm not like a huge Patagonia person myself. Of course, I love finding it, but I'm not sure. I think Patagonia has some programs for like, um, Patagonia and I'm not sure what those are. So I need to look that up. And see if it's worth me selling or if it, I should just take it into them and learn more about those programs. Uh, anyway, if I do sell this, I definitely won't be asking a lot just because of the flaws. Um, and I'm not even sure right now. I'm probably under 50, uh, especially for that style and just the wear. Um, this is Anthropology, And there's the label. This is an Anthro brand label. I'm not going to say it correctly. I'm actually um, catching a cold. So... That's if I sound just a little different, that's why and pronouncing things is just even harder when you're sick. But there's pockets, drawstring waist, kind of a jogger style. I really like the hem on these. Um, an extra small, I believe. Anyways, just super cute style. 
really comfy can be worn more as career wear or even like dressed down like casually I was excited about this um it's a tahari now I don't I can't say that tahari's done great for me but I do know that if I don't sell this I can take it into buy sell trade or consignment it is new with tags it retailed for $128 and uh, it's kind of like that chicard um, material. It's aligned. It's kind of got that 60s vibe, retro vibe to it. And so, yeah, thought I'd give that a go. It does have like these little spots like in the seam, like corner seams. But it's like, that's just, I guess, how it was like in the store. So here's just a pair of American Eagle jeans. They've got great distressing and some distressing here so this is like factory distressing this isn't from like being stepped on um they're size eight they're the super stretch and i also picked up my first pair of old navy jeans to sell i've never picked up old navy jeans to sell just basically because you know they don't retail for a lot they go on sale but i did a poll on instagram a while back and i asked people what their favorite jeans were to wear uh, a lot of people said old navy jeans. And so this style, it's a high rise. Um, it's the super skinny. I remember a lot of people saying like the rock star, which that's the style name. They're just a great wash. They're the raw hem. So very trendy. I thought I'd give them a try. And at the bins pricing, it's hard to go wrong. I should have said that I bought, I don't remember how many pounds specifically, but it was, I spent $50 and I believe it was $1.19 a pound. Uh, this was another last minute, like, throw in the cart as I'm chucking other stuff back. Uh, but it's incline, it's a size large, and it's this really nice cheetah, like, leopard print tank top blouse. I love, like, the mustard yellow. Oh, the color of it's just so good. And I think this would be great. You could wear this all seasons, and depending on, you know, the weather, you can layer it uh, with cardigans and stuff. So that's a fun piece. This is just a no-name, no-brand scarf, uh, this kind of plaid flannel uh, material. Super soft and in really good condition. Great bundle type item. Uh, so, yeah. And then we have this here uh, sweater. It's wool rich. Um, you know, I don't actually know if it's vintage. It's a, I think it might be. It's a men's medium. It's... Uh, kind of got that Fair Isle striped Nordic design. And so it does have a little bit of pilling, which I noted in the description. There was at the bins this day, there was a ton of vintage women's suits and they were all the same size. And so I'm, of course, I'm sure the same donor donated like all of her suits. They're all petite sizes. Um, I didn't, a few of them had like little flaws and they were, some of the skirts that went with them were so tiny. I mean, like, teeny teeny tiny waist that I just like didn't want to deal with all of them but I did pick up this blazer um I like kind of that uh this style it's um it's pretty classic and so I tried it on and I knew it fit me and that I, I knew I liked it so I was kind of like well I'll try to sell it but if it doesn't sell maybe I'll wear it and yeah it's it's just that classic fit classic style it is more of a small petite size though uh, this one is again, just a kind of a basic menswear, um, wool sweater, um, grandpa sweater, however you want to say it, but thought I'd give that a go. Uh, I was excited to find, I love the chenille type sweaters. This is seven, the brand seven, and it's an open front cardigan, this beautiful, like wine burgundy color. It does have a couple of like pulls, but they're not actually holes. So, like, these poles can be punched back through. Um, I think it happens when you wash it or, like, if a ring snags it. But you can just, like, take um, your nail. Like, I can take my nail and kind of push those back through to the other side. So, definitely don't cut them off. Like, that would that's when it would be a hole. So, anyway, very light wear but overall good condition. Here's another vintage cardigan. Really love this one. Um, it is a, I think it's a wool blend. I can't remember, but it's this beautiful like tan cable knit and I love the texture of it. It'd be so cute paired over a black turtleneck uh, with a scarf. Really enjoy it. It's a little bit longer length. 
Here's a Massimo cardigan, similar to our other styles here. Size large, it really doesn't look like it's been worn at all. I love this like muted rainbow like stripe. Um, it's very pretty. Anyway, so kind of that oversized boxy fit. Again, this is something that doesn't retail, kind of like the Old Navy. It doesn't retail for a lot, so its resale value isn't great. But in good condition, they're trendy pieces. They're still stuff people are looking for, and I've done well with that type of item in the past. This is just a Infinity Scarf by Charlie Page. Knit, really pretty. Again, kind of a muted striped. It's like a blue-gray, pale pink color. I love Infinity Scarves. This is RXB, and it's, um, I believe, sold at Macy's and a few other, like, department-type stores. Uh, this really pretty, like, Fair Isle Nordic stripe design. It has, like, some really light wear. I tried to, like, photograph on that a couple of these, like, are kind of coming apart. It's not really pilly, but it just has, like, maybe a couple little snags. Um, but otherwise, it's in really good condition. A wool blend, and I love the sleeves. So pretty. Uh, let's see. This, I love the colors on this one too. So a lot of good sweaters, American Rag. Um, the color of this is just so pretty and kind of a looser knit, longer style cardigan with front pockets. You can wear it open or closed. It's got the snap closures, like the large snap closures. That's nice. Sometimes I like the ability to close, the, close these cardigans, like some of them you just can't. Uh, this was a fun piece. It's called, uh, the brand is For The. Um, it's, I think in, I can't remember the blend. It is a alpaca blend, so a very small amount of alpaca. But it's just, it feels like really good quality. I didn't know the brand when I originally picked it up. And it doesn't look like it resells for, I mean, it has decent, like maybe $20 to $30 resale. Um, at the higher end, but it's in really good condition. It feels like quality and that's why I picked it up I like the kind of oversized like boxy looser fit at the bottom really flowy. That's nice So I was with Carrie um, I, You probably saw that earlier, but she was like, "Ooh, do you want this and of course I did I picked up a jacket like this before and it has sold this one is I think it's a size 8 a8 which I believe is just like an 8 or I would say probably a medium to maybe extra large because could easily wear this it does have some light um, like discoloration in a couple of areas but overall in really good condition here's the back I love that it's embroidered detail oh it's so fun so this is a good find it's pretty long fringe detail there uh, this is an H&M skirt. It is new with tags, size 4. I feel like this style of skirt is just so cute in the winter with tights. It's got like kind of that faux wrap, so it's not like a true wrap skirt, but it kind of looks like a wrap skirt. And it's like a heavier tapestry-like fabric, and it is lined, which is awesome. So then it doesn't stick to your tights. I hate that. That was like the worst when I like wore stuff like this teaching is when you wanted to wear tights, and then the tights long and then you couldn't find the right slips and anyway you know what I'm talking about if you know this I knew was quality right away and I forgot that I had knew this brand I think it's because I never found it actually myself but it's Eloque I think that's how you say it It does have a belt again the belt is somewhere else because I need to steam this um, very carefully but it's I don't know that it's genuine leather I haven't looked let's look Let's look. No, it is not. So it's like a faux flax leather, but it feels so gorgeous. It's like a size, the size 14. Um, I can't even show you the whole thing. It's pretty long, but I would say it's midi, maybe midi length. It does have some like separation right here where it was kind of coming undone. Like, it should have been closed right there, but it's open. I don't think that's a deal breaker. It's just such a beautiful dress. I think for this winter, fall, winter, even spring, this is so beautiful. Ugh, it's amazing. So I'm excited to do more research on that. I haven't researched it yet um, to, like, look up comps. So I'm excited to do that. And this, I 
This is like my gold. Yes, basically. Corduroy <laughs> overalls. Green corduroy overalls. Their tag was cut out. I don't know what size they are. I'm assuming they're like a medium. Maybe a large. Or maybe an oversized medium. Um, but they're green corduroy overalls. And they definitely need uh, to be steamed. Or washed. I haven't washed them yet. So, I was... I often get asked if I wash things. And it's a complicated answer. So there's things that you wash because you have to. There's things that you wash because it, they're easy to wash. Jeans, corduroys, anything denim is really easy to wash. Um, certain things that obviously you can't wash because they're dry clean only. Um, those, those types of items get steamed. So I do have a steamer and I steam a lot of items because steaming does kill like 90 some percent um, bacteria. And so a lot of things do get steamed rather than washed but like I said denim for me is really really easy to wash and I don't have a problem with that but then there's other things that you just want to be more careful with especially if it's in fantastic condition and you don't want to ruin the condition of the item by maybe washing it incorrectly so you just have to be careful with that um I'll probably do another Q&A video soon because I've been like having a lot of questions like regular questions building up um, but this is just a really nice cowl neck sweater, kind of a bat wing almost sleeve where it gets a little more fitted, ribbed knit at the sleeve. Oversized fit, most definitely. I can't remember if there was a brand. Like some of these are on hangers because I need to steam them. So I don't know this brand. I haven't looked it up yet because I'm not ready to list it. Um, but Nelbang, um, it's just, I love the color of it. This green just always gets me. Um, it says free size. So it just feels like a really great sweater. Um, you can you can begin to feel quality after a while. It's just a poly viscose blend, but it feels really nice. Okay, this is just Band of Gypsies. Um, it definitely has like a little flaw here, which I might try to fix. Um, but I really like that kind of kimono feathery um, print and design. So grab that. And it was lightweight. Uh, funny story. I was looking for a top just like this for Posh Fest, and I could not find one. So I never got one. And then, of course, Carrie found this at the bins, and um, I was like, oh, I want that. So I uh, need to clean it, and it's just a little crop, like boho crop top and eyelet and lace kind of design. Super fun. I don't know. I don't think I'll keep it now. I don't need it now, but I wanted one for Posh Fest. <laughs> I uh, love, again, this color, this kind of, like, ribbed knit um, sweater, too. Oh, and the hem. I really like this hem. So it's an express size medium, and it's in really great condition as well. I hope to have everything up oh, by the time this video is published, but you never know. But there we go. Express. I don't mind picking up Express if I can get it for a good deal. And of course, at the bins, it's a good deal. Uh, Lane Bryant. I love this blush pink type color. 22, 24. It does have like the roll tab sleeves. And it has some... Um... Oh, I know the word for this. But I'm forgetting. I think the, the head cold has me a little foggy. Anyways, it's, it's kind of got this cinched... Um, at the side so good find I feel like and this this Carrie and I really were chit-chatting about for a while because it's a gap sweater okay so it's a size medium and it's got this kind of like turtle cowl neck here it's very heavy um wool blend it definitely needs to be steamed but we were chatting about it because Although it felt really good and it feels really nice and we know it's going to look better once it's steamed, it's lamb's wool and nylon. Um, we were trying to figure out if it felt like it had been shrunk. And ultimately, like, she's about a size medium, she's really tall and I'm short. And we were trying to figure out the sleeve length and if it was, you know, felt like it had been shrunk. But, um, yeah, so I decided to give it a go anyways because sweaters are so popular right now. Um, I think... That it's gonna look really good after it's been steamed and just it doesn't really have very much pilling it's just it's classic wool anyway uh this i really enjoy it's j crew size two 
I kind of want to keep it. I think it'd be a great holiday top. Anyway, I like the plaid. I like that it's lightweight. Um, the embroidery is in really good condition, although it is an older J. Crew label. Um, let me see if I can find the year on this. Yeah, so 2013. So this little like H O 13. So it's 2013. Um, it is older, but it's in really good condition, and it's a cute style. I feel like this style doesn't really. It stays on trend for a while. Just rambling at this point. And this piece um, is another Anthro brand. Um, I'm not going to say it right at the moment. Size large. It does seem like, I think it's a faux leather. So cute over a turtleneck. A layered look on this piece would be so fabulous. Um, the skirt has side pockets. It is lined. It has this beautiful lining on it. Oh, so pretty. And it is a let's see imported by anthro trying to find the fabric so like this is not a piece i would want to wash because um it does say machine wash cold with light colors which is really cool that it doesn't need to be dry cleaned but i would be i'm kind of afraid to wash it but i would definitely like steam it on a very low setting so it's got a back zipper i'm still not finding the fabric contents um, size eight, but I'm guessing that it's a faux leather if you can wash it anyway. So that concludes my haul from the bins, uh, this week. I hope you enjoy seeing what I found and I hope that maybe you learned something new. And as, as always, I will see you next time.